Uh, and uh, look, technically we should uh, be wrapping up soon, but yep. uh, fiddle sticks to that, I say, because yep. I was just sitting here, we were having sort of a chat earlier in the day about the new season, The Bachelor, that's going to start yep. uh, on Channel 10 soon. And this year we get The Bachelorette. Yes. As well on TV. How does the Bachelorette work? Is it just the same but reverse genders? Switchies. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's a girl, mm-hmm. uh, and then she gets to choose. You know, she has twenty five hunks, whittles yep. it down, rose ceremony. But do, but the, but the hunks is bitchy, mate. I mean, you don't. Th- I know that you would think not, yep. and I'm fascinated to watch the Australian version. But look. Uh, well, have you, we ever had an Australian version? Or no, this, this would be the first batch. Okay, right. But as you well know, uh, I am. Uh, I've, I, I gave up formal studying at university, yeah. but I've since taken up formally studying The Bachelor, not just in Australia but America as yes. well. Now um, I do have to. I've, I've purchased a membership or purchased an online account mm-hmm. um, for just to, to watch The Bachelor at the American one. Yeah. There's a bit of, I mean, oh god, I'm not downloading it, but you have to do a bit of like weaseling to pretend you're living in America on, yep. online to mm. then buy like access to all the back episodes and stuff <laughs> to watch The Bachelorette. Why is this so important? We love it. My wife and I are addicted. Caitlin, yeah. it's been she's probably been the greatest Bachelorette ever. <laughs> And it's. I just wanted to let you know in case I didn't know if you were following it or not. Oh, certainly not. You no, had no, watched no. one app or nope. two or whatever. It's down to Nick and Sean. Okay, and they so, hate each other, boy. So there's two. There's there's two. Hunks. There's two blokes left. And who's the girl? Caitlin. Caitlin. She's been the most sensational bachelorette of all How? time. How can you be more? Well, I think there's been about ten bachelorettes. But it just seems the same thing happens every time. Why do you watch this every time? Lots of hunks or lots of girls go in the place. They have a little bit of a bitchiness about each other. Mm. There'll be some tears. Look, mate, they never you stay don't together. Understand. They never stay together. You don't understand the game the way I do. Okay, okay? Yeah. Caitlin. Normally. You wouldn't go to the fantasy suite until there's about three left. That's when they have a little, like an overnight stay with each other yep. and there's no cameras allowed. Caitlin got a little excited with Nick when there's still about eight guys left yep. and they did a bit of a sleepover. So she went to the fantasy suite. Well, I mean, they just had some fun. Yep. And she had a dark secret that she was holding on to. Right. So she's Sean basically has become visited. more intimate with Nick earlier on. But that's sort of blown it for him because there's no mystery about him now. Yeah, okay. And then Sean's sort of an angry Ryan Gosling and they just hate each other and it's really coming down to a climax. But here's the thing. I know you're fascinated about how The Bachelorette works. Mm. <laughs> it, it, this is, I, was watching the, I was watching this episode in America last night. Last, the, here's the difference between The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. So you know they have to do activities when they go on yes. dates because just watching people at dinner on a normal date doesn't make for good TV. So same as in The Bachelor, they turn up and something's been organised. Like, oh, we're on a farm, you know, we're feeding the cows. Yes. Now we're driving tractors. Which now no one would ever do for a date. <laughs> yeah, and they're so heavily organised, but the person, The Bachelor or The Bachelorette has to pretend oh, that they've organised the whole thing. Please enjoy this thing I've organised for you. So, Caitlin takes Sean out on a date. This is the finale and goes, we're going to play golf. Okay, fine. So, they play golf. Right. He would have loved this. Yeah. Then, then she goes, let's play truth or dare. So, he goes, okay. Was she, she good at golf? Uh, look, fine. Okay. Sorry. Good. I'm, I'm getting I mean, better than me. Yep. So, pretty good. Then she goes, truth or dare. He says, dare. And she says, okay, you have to do a nudie run from like one green to the other. And, of course, they're all personal trainers, all the guys. So he's like, oh, no, no. And by the time he said no three times, he's, he's nude. <laughs> he's so excited to get his kid off. Then he, so he does a nudie run, mm. right? And then she steals his clothes and runs off with his clothes. So mm. he's running around the golf course naked. And that is the bit that I suppose is different in The Bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> the Bachelor. If you had Blake from last season going, uh, you got to do a nudie run. Yeah. And they're going, oh, okay. And then her doing a nudie run and going, and now I've stolen your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of thing that only works if the bachelorette <laughs> does it because it's a bit cheeky. Yes. Not if like Blake or whoever the next guy is, I think is his name Sam. Have we got two, have we got Sam coming up? I don't think we're going to see Sam nicking no. any of the bachelor, any of the girls on the bachelor clothes, but. The Bachelorette, I rec- it, from what I've heard in such a time, it's going to be it, like it's working. The guys get angry because this, it, she's the only... What's happened to this nude guy in the golf course? Oh, eventually, you know, like then Someone they went out... a hole in one? <laughs> they, they went out for dinner later. <laughs> he just decided, he was like, oh, well, I'll just keep playing, I guess. <laughs> but there's only... The reason it works, the reason The Bachelorette works, is they only see one girl. So they're locked away for six weeks. So it's just like a mental thing where they go crazy. And they all Yeah, I see what you mean. It'll it, it will it is gonna work. It's gonna work in Australia. I know it doesn't see I know you would think that the guys would be like, Oh well, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I'll just go out this weekend and meet someone else. No, it doesn't work better. like that. When someone steals your clothes, it's pretty love. And uh, um you'd be aware from uh last year in particular. Mm. 
of my enjoyment of the hit TV show The Bachelor. Yes, and yes. To, and, was, I mean, which was, and look, to be honest, was handy for me because uh, you would come and give me an update. Well, I mean, it's... Which I didn't have to watch it. Deep in my heart, I do believe you would have made an excellent Bachelor. <laughs> you foolishly chose to fall in love outside of the show. Hmm. I can only question that love because it wasn't done through a TV Has, show. Hasn't been properly tested, has it? <laughs> well, you didn't go rock climbing to see if she was the one no. and how she handled herself in high pressure situations. No, she hasn't. You didn't go ice wa- skating. You... She, Beck has never worn a safety harness around me, um, so that's just awful. You didn't go on a hot air balloon together. No. You didn't do, I mean, you did do hometown visits, but you didn't film it, so I don't really know if you did hometown <laughs> visits. It just seemed like a weird way to get together with someone yeah. when you did it with Beck. Mm. But you're a unique guy, <laughs> yeah. and you chose to do it off camera, much to the disappointment of me, your best friend, mm. because I was not able to put you forth as this year's Bachelor, and that is a huge missed opportunity. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to be watching Ando, mm. because you know I love The Bachelor you and do. The Bachelorette, yeah. not just the Australian versions, also the US versions. Yeah. It's not a thing I can freely admit to other guys. I always watch it with my wife. We enjoy seeing the ups and downs, the highs and lows of the girls and the guys as they try and navigate their way. And see what you're, you're counting down to this. When does it start? Next Wednesday night. Australian Bachelor. Same night as the test. As the cricket, yeah. I mean, we'll just, you know, we'll watch it a little bit and then get home for the test. <laughs> okay. I mean, the test goes for five days, and The Bachelor only goes for 20 weeks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and you've got to be there for night one. <laughs> Here's the thing. I reckon, I don't think, I was having a little bit of a thing and I thought, you know what? Let's have a launch night. But I don't want to go. But I think if I was to put on an event, yeah. right? You know how sometimes like at Comic-Con they do like themed, big themed, you know, you go and watch a movie and you dress up. Yeah. You don't have to dress up as The Bachelor. Yeah. No one actually wants to be The <laughs> Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, they do. Yeah. And you should go for it one year if, if you happen <laughs> to be available. A themed night mm. where... It's like a boys bachelor night. We go to the pub, but I don't have think some there burgers. Are people like you. This I don't is the think, thing, I, and I I've, don't think I've had to hide my secret, and I'm coming out, <laughs> and I'm proud as a bachelor watcher, as a bloke that watches it. And I know a lot of guys, but it would be with your partner. Hmm. And I know I've got, a, I do have some guy friends who they watch it with their girlfriend or whatever. But then we're able to have a good chat, chat. about the bachelor. Yeah, Marco, talking to you, man, if you're listening. <laughs> It's Marco. Marco is Daniela's keep, husband. You keep these guys quite separate to me, D. The, never... <laughs> we just don't invite you over because uh, you wouldn't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Here's the thing. Come, be part of the group. Hand I don't I'm really gonna, want... I want to launch. I want to have... And I'll open it up to people that are listening. If I'm, I'm sure we could get it organised. If you can right? get... If you could have one... 13, person, 10, 60. If there's one person... Would you be interested in my bachelor beers, burgers night? And you... A boys have, night. My bachelor boys night. It has to be a bloke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bachelor boys, boys night. night. And you think pe- there are other people out there that are just... There are other but... dudes that would come to watch The Bachelor if what? we had a big screening. No. And... I'll promise surprises. <laughs> surprise guests. <laughs> surprise guests? <laughs> yeah. I'll have a surprise guest. The, who, who, you, who you think? I'll get that? someone. <laughs> but it, it we will... got Denja earlier on. <laughs> get Blake. <laughs> no, no, a, a bigger. I probably can't get Blake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a, if you're a, if you're a real Bachelor fan, yeah. right? First episode. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's next Wednesday night. Yeah. It okay. Is, yeah. yeah. Next Wednesday night. We'll get a pub, get a, we get a room at a pub, <laughs> and we do a Bachelor Boys night, all right? Yeah. Call up, 131060, if you would be the kind of guy that would be interested in this. If I'm if sensing you're, interest... If you get a, a vibe that people want to do this... Yeah. And I, we can have the cricket I'll, on. I'll, I'll come. We can have the cricket on picture in picture. <laughs> so we don't miss a score, don't miss... A, we, 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 we can't miss the first impression, Rose, because we're trying to watch the first wicket. We yeah. can have both. What what side, Which one's the smaller picture, the cricket or the bachelor? I'm sorry, mate, but it's the bachelor premiere. <laughs> okay. I mean, it goes for an hour or yeah, whatever. Sure. And we don't want to miss the first impression, Rose. Sure. Save your daddy. <laughs> I mean, can't this just all be cricket? It's got to be some bachelor. <laughs> I certainly didn't expect this amount of interest, Ham. So, uh... Welcome... To the club, my friend. I'll uh, concede. Look, guys that watch The Bachelor, mm. we're out there mm. and we're not going to stay quiet anymore, Andy. <laughs> it's 2016 almost. Yes. And it's about time we stood up and we just said, guess what, mate? It's a while away. Yeah. <laughs> we, if you round up. We, I mean, a lot of the time we watch it with our girlfriends, or in my case, my wife and I are addicted not just to the Australian Bachelor, the American one as well. Mm. 
It's great fun. It's great fun watching. What are these girls going to do? How far will they go? Will the guys find true love? You on think, show? And, you, and you said to me that there are other guys out there that want this. Look, and if it's if, a fascinating if study of human any, behavior. If you found any interest whatsoever, you Mikey, can, you can have your party that you want to do to launch it next week. Mike, you uh, yeah. you watch The Bachelor, mate. I watch The Bachelor. Yeah, but I do. do you? Uh, who do you watch it with? I watch it with my mum. Yeah, <laughs> not a bad one to watch with mum if you have to have a TV show to watch together. Michael, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, I do have a girlfriend. You do have a girlfriend. She's not invited to the bachelor or not. It? No, I haven't even told her. To be <laughs> so she, she doesn't, doesn't know that you sneak over your mum's place and uh, watch Batchy. Nah, she doesn't. On the way home from work, I'll just stop in. Yep. Mum will be watching it when it's on. Boom, she makes me dinner. Watch the Bachelor with mum. <laughs> Sit I'm down. not even kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why, why would Sounds you? Genuine. <laughs> uh, look, Mike, this, you're exactly the kind of guy. Like, I want to do this burgers, beers, bachelor night. Yep. And a little bit like a kind of a themed, I guess, for like at the end of the year when Star Wars comes out, there's going to be a lot of like these big kind of like events. Yep. This is my one. I just want to run like a bloke's bachelor night. <laughs> Andy's going to come as my plus one. Bryce. I've just realized it does launch on a Wednesday night. Traditionally, that's date night with my wife. I'll pass that through when I get home tonight. <laughs> Bryce, are you a fellow that loves The Bachelor? I am indeed. It's good, isn't it, mate? It's a fascinating study of human behaviour. Now, Bryce, what kind of work are you in? I'm working in a sheet metal fabrication okay. warehouse. Are so. um, there many blokes in the warehouse when you come in on a Thursday morning and you go, hey, can you believe Lorena didn't get a rose last <laughs> night? Are there any guys that joined the convo? Oh, mate. Uh, no, not at all. I'm, my nickname in the warehouse, warehouse is Bubbles. Yep. Because it's Bryce, Bryce, yep. Yep. Bryce Bubbles. But that's come out to the whole um, the whole work site and everything like that. So I just cop it. And, so, so I, Bryce, I do the others know that you watch The Bachelor? Oh, no. Not at all. Yeah, oh, right. Okay. So there's, there, that's the well, thing. Well, thank you, mate. Thank you for coming, coming on the show. Out. That's very brave. It's quite, it is. It's nice. And Josh, you want to come out on the show that you love The Bachelor as well. <laughs> Hey, guys. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Mate, it's, it's a fascinating it. study of human behaviour, isn't it, Josh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. I, none of my mates know. I watch it with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't really... I don't, I don't come out and tell my mates that I would watch it. No. Pretty, uh, but but it, it, yeah. I mean, this is the whole point of my it, blokes, burgers, beers, bachelor, bloody bonanza yeah, uh, at the pub. Five, Josh, kind of thing you'd come along to? Oh, definitely. That'd be awesome. I don't Mate, think anyone else, any other fellas would like it. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be nice. I mean, I've never done this, but yeah. I, wouldn't it be nice to just watch in a room full of guys with some beers and some burgers and just cheering, watching? I mean, the first episode, Andrew, it's where all the girls turn up in the limo and they do the stupid thing to try and impress him. All right. And you yeah. know they've been forced to by the producers, but that's what's, that's why it's such a great show, because you're like, how far will they go? So what, that's they what, remember, and, and, No, remember Anita? I played you the song last year. Anita, <laughs> that's right. Anita sung the song, and everyone's just like, wow, that is just... And that's just such an airball. Feels but good like on you doing... having a go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels like we're doing this. Oh, great. So you approve. Now I've made some promises. Here's what we'll do. For one night only. I'll, uh, I'll we'll I'll take care of the logistics side of this. No, no you won't. Well, Hamish, no, we'll get a sponsor. Yeah. Hamish, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it up at hamishandandy.com. Yeah. I'll make sure there's a form there. Yeah. People can register. Yeah. It will be like we'll throw some throw some Delaros at this mate. Just like the beers will someone be someone else's Delaro. Yeah, yeah. But Delaros will be thrown, <laughs> and then we'll get. Yeah, we'll make it for the premiere. Got to make it for the premiere night. We'll make it a plus one. Mm. You're my date. You've got to sit through. I reckon by the Thursday afterwards, yeah. you'll be like, all right, I found it interesting from a televisual perspective. Yeah, look, I'm open. I'm going to go open. I didn't. I couldn't believe how people. You are the Bachelor. God, I'm open to it. Um, honestly, it's <laughs> okay, not. So I would sure. like to open my heart to the possibility of watching the Bachelor. <laughs> All right, let's do a bachelor party, Ando. Yep. Uh, what day is it today? Wednesday. So we, one week. Is Wednesday today? Mm. Yep. Okay, mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Show with the best research. <laughs> no, people come to us for the breaking news. Ew. Breaking news, still Wednesday. <laughs> uh, one week from today. Wow, we were on holidays for seven months. Yeah. You lose track of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we're back and we're focused. Next Wednesday night, it's, it's the premiere of The Bachelor. Yep. Yesterday on the show, it's on seven thirty. Uh, Channel ten. They have got behind a two. The next big love story in Australia begins. Begins. Okay. Well, I mean, it's really the most exciting episode <laughs> because the Bachelor stands in the driveway. Mm. All the girls uh, come up in the limo, and they've clearly all been forced to come up with a way to get his attention. Yep. They now, bu- they busk us in. <laughs> essentially, it kind of is busking. <laughs> yeah. uh, some go for cardboard signs. <laughs> uh, some just go for you know, I need someone to sleep tonight. And he goes, oh, well, I have a mansion, so that works yeah. out perfectly. 
in Australia, we're just getting into The Bachelor as a, as a show. Mm. And, and as you know, I, I've watched the American version yeah, you're into it. for a while. And they're in season, like, 25. So then, now, and- when that, in America, when they turn up now, it's basically like, a, like, it's like a Thanksgiving parade. Yeah. Like, they come with so much razzle-dazzle. Like, in Australia, they might sort of turn up and go, oh, I made you, you know, I carved a... A, a cockatoo out of a st- stick, bit of bark. Yeah, okay, I'm like, oh, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in America, they really like a guy turned up in a car mm. for the Bachelorette in the last season. It was a it was a, like a convertible that was full of water, and it's a jacuzzi car. Wow! So they really go to a lot of effort. Yep. In yep. the American version. So this happens at the first episode. This it? is the first impression. So the guy the guy will be standing at the front and the girls will come up and they'll do their busking. And and that's sort of half the episode on the first episode. And I've never seen it. And I want you to I want you to I get that's you why you're my plus one to the party. And thank you. And uh no worries, bring a plate. <laughs> I do I was surprised with how many people that called yesterday. Blokes. So many guys. Listen to this. Here's a guy called Dave. Mm. He's coming along to the party. Mm. Got in touch with Amelia today. And he's flying in because yep. now that we've got a bit of Channel Ten behind us now, so we can fly. This this is now a national party. Yeah. He goes, I'd love to, uh, love to try and bro out with the Bachelor because he's never got a chance to do it. Just yeah. have a few pints, have a burger, <laughs> yeah. talk batch. He said because um, he, he's the only one of his mates that watches it. And the yeah. next day, when everyone's talking about football, he he tries to bring up Bachelor stuff at work with his mates, and it doesn't go down. So this is all these guys. Should it. Guys have tried so hard. Mm. To find kindred spirits, and it's it's not at the point where you would statistically have another mate in your group that likes the Bachelor, but we are out there, and yeah, exactly blokes that like the Bachelor. It's 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 similar to I think it's probably the same ratio of people that like magic. Like you're not going to bring up it that. is magic. <laughs> you know, magic bring... that out of those twenty five girls, they can find true love. Well, true, but it's like you can't if you love magic, you can't go to your mates every day and go, "Hey, can we talk about magic tricks anymore?" But there's a lot of people out there that like magic. <laughs> hey, can we talk about magic? <laughs> no, we keep telling you you weren't allowed to talk about it. And I, uh, I've also been I've been banging on a bit for the last twenty four hours about a surprise guest, mm-hmm. surprise guest, and surprises mm-hmm. throughout the night. I have the call in for three. Where's the party? First at time. a pub. Okay. I'm still locking down the location, but it'll be a yeah. pub, big screen. Yeah. I know you want it to sort of... you want to call of... it a party? Yes, mate. It's okay. a party. Okay. It's got a TV and some beers. That's a party. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like a party. It seems like it's catch up, you know? It's a screening. Yeah. I mean, not really, because that, that, but that like, hints at exclusiveness. If, if you We're ask, watching it off TV, so there ask, will be ads. You ask the guys to come around to watch footy. Footy you know? party. Grand final party, exactly the same thing, <laughs> okay, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Think of it as a grand final party. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm getting at. I want it to also be enjoyable for you. Thank so you. I've got f- calls out to three former, so not current, former both cricket and AFL players to come as a surprise guest. So right. you will enjoy the night. Who are they? It's Hamish's year of a thousand pranks. It's not a prank if you... Why would you ask who are they (laughs) if you didn't believe they were coming? Because it's part of conversation. (laughs) If you, for instance... All right, no more pranks today, but I reckon I've got three solid ones away today. I'm going to ban you from pranks. You can't. Unless that's a prank. It was, it was actually. <laughs> it was, and I just didn't have a sound effect. Well, it's not it. Andy's year of a thousand pranks. <laughs> but it could be Andy's year of one, and that could be it. Well, it wasn't a great one. <laughs> it's about the same level. Mine have been up there. I don't know. I, I don't will know. get a surprise guest, not as a joke. And I, I, my first guest... had none today, by the way. My first <laughs> guest fell through because it was going to be my wife. Yeah. So last time I said... That's, I, you can't do that. That's well, a bloke's it, party. Well, Wednesday night. It's, it's, you have said blokes only. Yeah. It's a bloke's Mate, only put yourself barbecue. in my position. We always watch The Bachelor together. It's the bloody premiere, and it's date night. Wednesday night for us is always our date night. So I said to her last night, hey, I'm, I, this thing sort of came up on the radio. It happened very fast. Yeah. I know it's date night. I can get you along, but you'll have to wear a beard. No. <laughs> right? And those exact words to me were, and I think I can read this verbatim, you ass clown, I'm not going to your party <laughs> and wearing a beard. I'm staying home to watch The Bachelor by myself. So I'm putting myself out there, yeah. Ando, and I've been called an A-clown by my wife. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, we'll take this up tomorrow. I thought it would go down yeah. better than it did. She said, uh, she said, no, I'm in the beauty industry. I don't go to parties with fake beards on. Fair enough as well. It is fair enough. It's the ass clown and Andy driving you home. <laughs> A-clown and A-man. And look, the reason I bring it up is yeah. I do want to talk about my bachelor party that I'm having. Yeah. 
came out recently on the show and just said, look, I am a guy that does love The Bachelor. Yep. And I know other blokes love it. It's a bit of a dirty secret. I've watched the Australian versions, the US version, The Bachelorette, even the spin-offs, Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, can't get enough of it. <laughs> and I'm out and I'm proud and I love it. And yeah. I want to have a boys' night. I want to have a bachelor boys' night. For- Beers, burgers, bachelors. Yep. And then the other day, I mean, I was You say you don't have to be a bachelor to come. In fact, no. most of the guys applying are married and have girlfriends because that's who you watch it with. <laughs> and uh, I was surprised at how many blokes actually do watch it secretly. That's right. And so you have had a lot of people going to hamestand.com and, and, and asking to come to the party. I, I jokingly um, said to you. Then I- you also said you promised a special guest. Sorry, and that's where I've been pranking you a lot, saying I'm getting a special guest and then you fall for it. And I, well, and no, I prank you, you. You said there was going to be a soccer player. I said, that's not and true. I prank you. And then you this said, is for real, though. Okay. I thought, how do we bloke this up? Mm. Who better to get than boxing champ Danny Green? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just got to be the blokiest. Does he like the bachelor? <laughs> Called him earlier today, and I mm. floated the idea with him. Danny Green, thanks for, thanks for joining me, mate. No worries, buddy. Now, listen, um, Danny. Uh, look, you've got a you've got a big fight coming up on the nineteenth of August. You're fighting Tamas Kovacs, right? This is mm-hmm. big. You're fighting him in Melbourne. <laughs> yep. You know what it's like to to have a big event coming up. I've also got a big event coming up. I've got my yep. beers, boys, and bachelor burgers night. Right. That's a, that's that's big. That's big, mate. Yep. We're a lot of blokes, just real manly men. We're all getting together, and we're going to watch the first episode of The Bachelor now. Yep. And it's very t- important, not just big, but very important. It's a real important night. And look, I just thought you could possibly give sort of like a real manly feel to it. I'm, I know I've heard you speak before and you, you, do, you do great stuff, you, you know, using boxing analogies. Do you reckon you could, you know, if you were going to give a pep up speech to the, to the boys on the night, do you yep. see any similarities between boxing and, and the, the battle for love that is The Bachelor? Yeah, yeah. Without doubt, mate, there's a lot of synergy there. Um, yeah. Firstly, it's, there's a lot of distractions going on yeah, um, when I'm true. fighting. So there's a lot of distractions outside the ring. So you look around, you look around the crowd, and you view the crowd, and you can't help it but notice some some things that catch your eye. Uh, it's only natural. Um, if they're looking to try and find true love, keep their eye on the prize. God, that's good. Because the distraction, they could get knocked out. One of their mates could come in, block them, and could then distract <laughs> them and then take that um, prize. Steal the girl. Eventually take that prize off them. So, you know, keep your eye on the prize and, and keep focused. Does that ever happen in boxing where you get distracted and one of your mates jumps in the ring and knocks the other guy out and steals the Look, fight? It, it hasn't happened yet, but I reckon I'd like to see it. <laughs> this is amazing stuff there. That's actually got that's actually a better analogy than I thought we could have got. Look, Danny, <laughs> look, like I said, I know you're training and fighting and stuff, but I've been promising a surprise guest to, you know, come and G up the guys. It'd be great if we could get you to pop in. I mean, the first episode's the best one. It's where all the girls get out of the limo and try and make a good first impression. I saw it last night. Quickly, I saw an advert for it, and I was like, you know, some of the girls, once they got out of the limo, if I had those rows, I'd be thrown at them. So, no, stay in the car. Don't worry. Don't, don't crease your dress, love. Just get back in. I'll see you next week. I looked at some of them. So, you know, I wouldn't have to worry the introduction. What the name was there. Bang, door opens. Bang, you're in. See you next one. <laughs> Danny, I mean, this is exactly the kind of chat I hope we could all just be having in a casual environment at the boys' night. Um, all right, Danny, so I'll pencil you in, yeah? Yeah, buddy. I will drop past say good day, mate. I'd love to join the frivolity. Mate, fantastic. Like I said, I know you're training, so you probably can't have a beer, but we'll have a Powerade for you. Oh, sounds good, mate. We'll have a Powerade and a laugh and a slap on the back. <laughs> Great, <laughs> slap on the back. Yeah. That's not going to be slapped by Hopefully. Danny Green there, boxing champion. He was champion of the world. He's returning to a fight. He's got a comeback so fight coming So is he coming? coming? Yeah, he's coming. It, okay, because it seemed a bit like... You were like, I'll pencil you in, because I thought you were getting nervous. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I mean, he's a busy guy, because he does have the fight coming up, yeah. but yeah, he was just, he's all for it. Right, he's going to come along. Mate, it's That's a boys' fantastic. night. fantastic. It's a boys' night. That's great. And, he's, and he, like he said, he's, I mean, he's only seen the ad, but yeah. he's going to get into it. I know there's a lot of guys that want to come now, and we've got a lot of guys that have registered at HamishAndy.com. More guys want to come now. Tell you what, I've just selected another one. Mm. Just going through the files. Hey, Cameron. Hey, mate. How you doing? Cam. Do you want to come along to this bloody boys and burgers bachelor beer night, you mongrel? Oh, I'd absolutely love to. Get, yeah. amongst, get amongst it and get around <laughs> camera. <laughs> and Cam, you're watching yes. the first ever The Bachelor. Woo-hoo. Yeah, I mean, that's not the exciting bit because, yeah, we're just watching it straight off air, so it's not like it's a preview or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so there's going to be ads. Yeah, anyone, anyone can watch it. Hey, Cam, yeah. we're just wrapping up the show. Quick, a bit. Are you a massive yeah. Bachelor fan? I am, yeah. I felt it got pretty decent last year. I was reading the news articles and things afterwards and, Cam. you know, I didn't want to watch publicly in the lounge room because uh, so much housemates would notice too much. So you were in a share house with other blokes? 
Yeah, I was well, secretly watching well, The Bachelor. Try and find a yeah. bloke. You've, you've got to bring a plus one. Yeah. Um, bring yeah. one of your mates that's also secretly into it. So this is going to be you, me, Ando, a yep. couple of other blokes, Danny, Danny Green. Green, just all having a goss about, you know. Eyes. Just, just, oh, just can't wait to have a good chat between the ad breaks. Eyes, beers. No, we need the ad Bachelor. breaks. I'm going to ask Channel 10 to put more ads in so we can <laughs> do the proper analysis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thanks, Kev. We'll Cameron, thank we'll you very you much. We'll see you next Wednesday. Pants off Friday! Hamish and Andy driving you home. Things getting a little bit more festive here. We're thanking Woolworths, the fresh food people, but it's also... Very apre. We, yeah. We, uh, this is when, um, obviously, people are knocking off from the ski fields now, and uh, it's getting a little bit more excited here the about C- Buller. The CBD up here has emptied out, and everybody's in having a little bit of apre. Um, Pants are off. Uh, worries are out the window, Ando. Mm-hmm. And, look, the same atmosphere is going to be happening next Wednesday night, because this is something I've been putting together on the show. Of course, The Bachelor premieres next Wednesday night, 7.30 yes. on 10, right? Australia's next big love story here. And I... I've promised blokes a front row seat because I've no shame in talking about my love for The Bachelor on the yeah. show and The Bachelorette, Australian and US versions, including the spin offs Bachelor in Paradise and Bachelor Pad. Yeah, now, you, you, I mean, you showed great courage and bravery and you. trust to come out the other day and say, I'm a guy that loves The Bachelor and I bet there's other guys out there that like me. I said, I bet there isn't. I was, we have been, have we not been blown away with yeah. the response? Yeah, I certainly have. And most of them are doing it discreetly. Most of them haven't come out I'm yet. I'm getting guys contacting me back channels going, yeah. look, I don't want to be on the air, but uh, <laughs> you can't talk to me publicly, but I want to come to the party. Yeah. I want to be there. Now, Danny Green yesterday was on the show going... Champion boxer. Look, um, he's training for a fight, mm. but he still wants to, he wants to make it to the party yep. just to have a beer and talk about The Bachelor so a little bit. So it's blokes only, beers, burgers, yep. Bachelor. And bachelor. I said to my wife, because we watched The Bachelor together, yep. uh, I said, look, honey, I could get you into the party, but you'd have to wear a beard. Mm-hmm. And she said... She called you an ass face. She said, no, she called me an ass clown. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, yeah, and yeah. she said, buzz off, you ass clown. I'm not wearing a beard, <laughs> so I can come to your party. I'll just stay home and watch it myself. Fair enough. So, so it is I, still I boys only. Plus one. You are my plus one. Yeah. You don't have to wear a fake beard. Thank you, because um, I can't grow one. <laughs> it, it is absolutely uh, boys only. But I also wanted to give it like a sportsman's dinner feel. Yeah. You know those nights where you go and you hear like a legend of the game talk about the night. Now, there's not too many legends of the game of yeah. The Bachelor to no. be Blake or Tim from the first season. And they're not, they're only two seasons old now, so they're not real legends of the game. That's yep. why I thought it'd be fun to get Danny Green there. Yeah. There's a guy that's had a huge career. Yep. So, uh, we, so just, we uh, sit back and bloke it out, and then The Bachelor comes up. Well, I was thinking more about who do we get that's a great talker yep. that, that has a sportsman's oh, so it's dinner. it's like a sports dinner. It really it's is. kind of turning into a sportsman's <laughs> dinner um, <laughs> slash a Bachelor premiere because yeah. we have to watch The Bachelor off air. Like, we don't have a special tape No, no, it. Channel 10 haven't sent that. It's ads. Yeah. We've got a lot of ads to yeah, sit through. You, you, you guys can chat about it. Well, that's what I thought. Good, oh, to I have, check on the pie. good to have guest speakers during the ads. You know who I managed to get? Mm. Earlier today, mm. I managed to call Steve Monaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Champion marathon runner and 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 float to him the idea, yeah, yeah. would he like to come along and give us his sportsman's dinner talk with a bachelor twist? This is what he said. Steve Monaghetti, thank you so much, mate, for taking the time. Always a pleasure. Always uh, a pleasure thank you, mate. mate. Now, look, um, you're one of Australia's most, um, most accomplished athletes. Um, it's probably not uncommon for you to go to something like a sportsman's dinner. No, very common. That's uh, I regularly do, I suppose. My name gets me in, on the invite list, on the VIP list for things like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, do you do a lot of talking? Do you do a lot of speeches about, you know, relaying stories from the from your marathon years? Yeah, I try to, you know, use some analogies, a few anecdotes, a bit of humour in there and try yeah, right. and... Um, yeah, related to uh, their situation sometimes. Perfect. Well, yeah. this, this could be the perfect thing for my Burgers, Beers, Boys, Bachelor night. I mean, do you watch The Bachelor? Oh, I, under sufferance with my family. Is that a fair excuse? Is that a yes or a yeah, no? Yeah, no, that's a yes. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say I've ever watched it without my wife, but no. I've, <laughs> I've seen every season, both Australian and US. Really? And you're actually admitting to it? Well, Okay. Loud and proud, my friend. What, what am I? I'm quiet and embarrassed. <laughs> quiet and chagrined. <laughs> I mean, if we could get you along to the boys' night, could you give your, your marathon story sort of a bachelor twist? Do you see any parallels? Oh, there's always parallels. Obviously, you know, you, it's all the preparation and the training leading in. You study the opposition and the competition heavily yeah. leading into the event. And then, you know, it's all competition. I mean, it's, you know, it's survival of the fittest. Um, you know, you've you got to be in there for the long run. 
to marathon performance, all of, all of those stories would, I think, go to play okay. Yeah, and if you're absolutely desperate, you just sometimes you just have to do a wee in your pants. Apparently. <laughs> you can even do number two, so yeah, you watch. It should happen. You're not going to stop. When you're in a race, you do all you can. It's the perfect analogy. It really is a perfect analogy. Well, mate, I mean, are you? What, what's your situation like next Wednesday night? I'm always free, always free for a boys' night out. Oh, great. So, well, why don't I just pencil you in? Um, look, Danny Green's in. Uh, you're in. It really is shaping up to be one of the greatest boys' nights out of all time. Looking forward to it. Oh, that's fantastic. So now we've got well, Steve, Steve Monaghetti. I like what he says about his own sport. It's a marathon performance. Normally you use that analogy for other sports. You're running a marathon. You're running a marathon. Yeah. Your analogy is your own sport. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Monaghetti, Danny Green. Yeah. It's really coming together. People can still register, I understand, Ham. HamishDanny.com. HamishDanny.com. If you want to come along, no matter where you are in Australia, uh, but thanks to Channel 10, I've now got some cash. I can fly people in. Yeah. Okay? So anyone can enter this. Ham, The Bachelor begins in a couple of nights' time. Thursday. It it's a Wednesday night, 7.30, and continues Thursday on 10. And where will you be, Ando? I'll be with holding you. my sweaty hand. Why? Because we're going to the boys' beers bachelor. Yeah, we don't have to hold burgers hands, party. Though. It's too emotional. I dare you to not hold my hand. You'll have to. <laughs> when the limos start, when the limos start turning up, and those girls get out, and they know they're fighting for the first impression rose. Yeah, look, we've done a lot of crazy dares in this show, but I'm not willing to touch that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as we've spoken about many times on the show, I've fully. Uh, I got no problems admitting I'm a big Bachelor fan. And I'm every season with my astounded life. Astounded how many guys, blokes have come out, tradies that say that they secretly watch it, can't talk about it at work. Yeah. The people that want to come to this, Mate, we're being flooded by boys requests. only beers, Bachelor burgers. Because guys, don't, you don't understand. In one group, it's very rare you would have more than one guy that's into it. Mm. So we just shut up. Yep. Go about our day yep. with our big, big, dirty secret holding us back. But this is a night where we can just come out and revel in it, have mm. some pints, and just cheer on the arrivals. Yep. We've had a lot of people register, Anna. They want to come to the party. Uh, Channel 10 have very kindly put some money behind it so we can get people from all over the country uh, to fly in for Wednesday night, the premiere. Uh, we're watching it straight off TV, so there'll be ads. Um, <laughs> so you're not missing, a, not missing a moment. No. Here's the thing, though. With you're so not many... missing the ads. <laughs> you're not missing a moment of the ads. I will probably turn the volume down. The ads, not that I would do that. Don't ever do that, though, if you, know, if you listen to radio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <here's>, <laughs> I don't want to accidentally give away a little uh, trick that I'm sure people don't use. <laughs> here's the thing. We've been inundated, you must admit, mm. we've been inundated with oh, I've, yeah, I mean, I'm actually intrigued now. More so than any other, like, the, to be honest, a lot of things we've run. This is yeah. right up there with like a flood, a stampede of entries. So... What do you do, Ando, in radio when that happens? You use the tried and true method of going, everyone listen hmm. who's registered, but listen out for a code word. That is yeah. what radio stations use. You get a code word. Yeah. That's how you make sure people are being listening. But since this is such a popular contest, yeah. I thought maybe we have 10 code words. <laughs> okay. well, do they have to remember all of them? <laughs> yes. Okay. So if you're listening so now and you've phrase. registered... No, it's not. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's doesn't it's a phrase that doesn't make sense. Okay, it's ten code words. Sure. It's what are the code words? Love. Yep. Bachelor. You're writing them down. <laughs> you were writing. Them yeah, down. so I remember them. Okay. Rose. Yep. Limo. Yeah. Okay. Um, mansion. Mm-hmm. Uh, flowers. Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> um. Tuxedo? Uh, champagne. Okay. Is tuxedo one? Because I've said it now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuxedo. Big... Okay, sure. Hang on, stop. Hang on. Have I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Uh, tuxedo. Um, ceremony. Yep. Marriage. Right. So Those are the 10 code words if that will get you entry if we call you. If you've registered, stand by the phone. Well, you better be listening. And remember, the 10 easy to remember, <laughs> remember code yeah. words. You don't want to pick up and only have eight. <laughs> remember all 10. <laughs> if you're feeling at eight, you will not be coming. You will be forced to watch another channel on the night. But guess what? I reckon you might still be coming if you can't remember them, but we'll try after this. 13. Okay. I'll no, we'll take eight. Not, no. I'll take eight, but I'll be disappointed. <laughs> it's an amazing subculture we've discovered. Yeah. Boys, blokes, yeah. men. Uh, fellas mm. that love The Bachelor that yep. can't talk about it freely in their group because they're the only guy in their group that likes The Bachelor. And they want to come together and enjoy this uh, party far more than I thought or perceived was ever possible. The uh, So many people have registered, com, yep. and uh, Ham, the, uh, the want to come is so grand that you've put out... <laughs> 10 code words. <laughs> also, normally in radio, you do one code word yeah. to make sure people are paying attention. Yeah. But this is too big a deal now. The and party's got out of hand, so it requires 10. 
but also normally in radio, when you put out a code word, across the day, the breakfast show might be talking yeah. about it, all the jocks across the day, they'll yeah. be talking about it as well. So everyone knows the code words. You've just said it once while you made them up <laughs> just before this, and you're hoping to call someone now um, who's registered. And, and what, if they don't have all of them, they're not coming? Yeah, well, I mean, I need 10. <laughs> okay. That's the lock, that unlock. You can't get nine numbers on a safe and be like, oh, close enough, yeah. I'll open the safe. Let's, let's, let's do this. You've had your radio locked. You've been listening non-stop for over four minutes. You've memorized the ten necessary code words to win. Now, you're about to find out if you want access to the Beers, Burgers, Boys and Bachelor Night. Jack, make the call. Oh, he's put the number. Well done, Jack. It actually takes it's quite hard. That was good timing, Jack. Very rare from you. They <laughs> sounded professional. Back in example. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey. Is, is that this... Hamish? Yeah, it is Hamish and Eddie. Oh, is Sam. that Sam? Yeah, it is. How are you guys going? <laughs> oh, we're good, mate. This is the cool well, you've time, dropped off. One time I don't say ahoy when I answer the phone. <laughs> That's Feel right, free Sam. to throw one in. It is our preferred telephone <laughs> greeting. I should warn you that whilst we love hearing you say ahoy... Mm. It will not count for anything if you cannot name the 10 code words uh, have you, have required. You been, have you been listening, Sam? Of course I have, of course. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, that in... is a huge step. <laughs> yeah, <that's> a, <laughs> it's, I mean, you could have probably guessed one, but 10 would be tough. Sam, Sam. what are the 10 code words? Okay, we've got love, Bingo. bachelor, yep. rose, yep. limo, Boom. mansion, yes. flowers, Similar to champagne, rose. yep. Tuxedo, Bang. ceremony, yep. and marriage. You've got ten. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all ten. <laughs> it should have been bigger than that, Jack. I'm doing a hundred tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Sam, I just love the, I love the idea of someone just tuning in halfway through a hundred <laughs> to hear someone saying gazebo, pool, candles in the distance, out of focus, uh, slow Tears. pans. Tears um, <laughs> running into the night. Tears on the back seat. Hey, Sam, it's very rare that the um, presenters are more excited than the actual contestant when they win because I was just so didn't think anyone would Do you be know what I'm excited the, about? Um, your, name's Sam, your name's Sam Woods. Yeah, it is, mate. It is. It's going to be an interesting season. Why yeah, is that? Same why name is that? as a bachelor. Oh, he's Sam Sam yeah, Woods, well, yeah. I've got the S, yes, but we're, we're pretty close. Oh, I don't think pretty, we're much closer. Sam Woods is. Yeah, we're pretty okay. close. It's, I suppose it's something. <laughs> Mate, it's huge. I'm Ke- Sam, I'm getting you as one of my special guests. <laughs> I need you to do, um, I'm going to set up a little autogra- autograph table for you on the night, okay? Fantastic. And, and people can, uh, get, a Sam people can get an autograph from Sam, Sam Woods, Woods if, they're not, uh, if they don't care that it's not exactly the same name as The Bachelor, but it's pretty close. <laughs> well, so well, guys, no, for everyone else that's listening that's won their way in. Generally as valuable as this. <laughs> bring your autograph stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, The Bachelor starts uh, tomorrow on Channel 10. Uh, also, I mean, turn on 10 because it continues uh, Thursday night as well. On the same channel. On the same channel. <laughs> on the same channel. Classic programming decision. Yep. Yep. The Dick. old no network switch between... Uh... <laughs> yeah, no fuss. They're keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> Just easier. Yeah. And uh, we'll be there uh, watching it straight off the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive. No. Yeah it, is. yeah, it is. I can't say that. I can't every- say that because no one else, is, uh, you can only get into the party if you win your way in. Oh, the party's exclusive, but we're not seeing anything exclusive. Oh, no, God, no. The signal's free to air. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching it on TV. I thought you like oh, Aliens ha- could watch it if they have the correct technology. Mm. So, yeah, no, completely, um, we're, completely we're, open broadcast. Yep. <laughs> Exclusively on Channel 10. <laughs> For That's anyone who true. has the free Your TV is jammed on another channel. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you won't be able to watch the exclusive show that we're watching. And it beers, boys, burgers, bachelor. Yep. That's the night that we're uh, doing tomorrow night. Not ashamed to admit, I'm a fan of The Bachelor. Mm. Watched every damn season. Um, I mean, there's only been two of the Australian Bachelor, but the US Bachelor, yeah, you US go Bachelorette. Abroad. Yep. The finale is actually happening as we speak right now. Caitlin's choosing between, spoiler alert, Nick and Sean. She okay. haven't seen up to the finale. I can't wait to find out who she's gone with. Normally, when Sean's you say boring, yeah. but uh, Nick is uh, he's a little sneaky. I don't think he's husband material. No, anyway, normally when you say spoiler alert, you give the chance for people to turn <laughs> spoiler alert. Nick and Sean <laughs> <laughs> to kind of tune out, but that's all right. No, hey, that's okay. There's more, and I couldn't believe how many people, particularly blokes, it's a big thing, uh, secretly. As their own, it feels like a dirty secret for yeah. them, uh, are secretly into the batch. And, I, and I, like, I don't have any statistics to prove this, but I 
scientists estimate it's only one per group. Mm. So there's a big need in our society of the, the one man in the group who likes The Bachelor yep. doesn't have any male friends to talk to about it, yep. and they bottle those feelings up inside. Mm. And we don't want that to be the case, Andy. That's why we've got this party. Someone that's uh, got their way in mm. to the beers, boys, blokes, Bachelor, burgers, beers, have two beers, party. <laughs> Michael, how are you? G'day, Hamish. How are you? Very good, mate. Hey, you pumped for tomorrow night? Very pumped for tomorrow night. Where are you coming? Very interesting. <laughs> Michael, where are you coming from for this? We're coming from Hobart. Yeah. All right. Buddy. Nice. Yeah. My, get, Michael, do you fly the Westpac Rescue Chopper or do you just work on it? No, I do the rescues out of the back of it. Leave Unbelievable. Flying to the important people up Unbelievable. the Unbelievable. So... Don't have an accident in Hobart, bro, because Mike's on holiday. Mike's coming to the mainland to watch The and Bachelor. And, Michael, do you find that you can talk about The Bachelor with your mates in a high-rescue situation, a high-risk rescue situation? I find that I can't. Yeah. Yep. yep. And yep. I'm just sick of hiding my passion for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what tomorrow night's all about, mate. You just come and you talk about, you know, first impression roses. Yep. Who's making the right moves? Because you know there's going to be some girls that go too hard too early, don't you, Mike? I think there could be. <laughs> and that's the fun of tomorrow night's Mike, episode. Michael, with, with, I mean, you don't have to give me the exact age, but what bracket of age are you, Mike? Oh, between 40 and 50. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what exactly where The Bachelor's <laughs> aimed at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mike, I can't wait to meet you, mate. 40. There's not it's going to be fun. Thanks, Michael. We'll see you tomorrow. There's not too many Ryobi ads in the middle of The Bachelor. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you're trying to build a couch, watch The Bachelor. <laughs> 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 you need an angle grinder. We've also got Jack. I understand he's coming along. Hey, there. Jack, you're also coming tomorrow night. How are you feeling, mate? Good, guys. How are we going? Yeah, good. Are you getting pumped? Have you gone online and looked at the girls, or do you want to wait until we see him get out of the limos tomorrow night? Nah, mate. Leaving it for a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Keep, keep, keep myself interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's no, the thing. Good. And, and we know the thing we're looking forward to tomorrow night about is, um, you know, when the girls get out of the limos, they've all been encouraged by the producers to have some sort of trick, yeah. as you put it, Andy, a busking trick. <laughs> um, and, and I think going off last season, do you remember Anita from last season, Jack? I didn't watch the Australian one from last season. I was living overseas, but... I've, uh, there's been a few doozies on the American version that I love. Oh, yeah. haven't there? Yeah. Haven't there? Well, Anita sung a song and she sort of lost her nerve halfway through. Look, hopefully we see something to top Anita. Jack, can I play? Um, I hope you don't mind this, but I did get at the um, at the show voicemail here. We did get a message from you today. Do you mind if I play your voicemail? Not at all, mate. Not at all. Because <laughs> I think Andy's going to get a giggle out of this. This is Jack's voicemail from today. Hi, this is Jack calling. I'm coming to the Hamish bachelor party tomorrow. And uh, I just haven't received anything about what we're supposed to wear or anything like that. I'm just wondering what we have to wear. Thank you. Bye bye. There you go, Jack. Just oh, wear normal. Backless clothes. gown, Jack. Mate, now now that I listen to it, it sounds a bit ridiculous. Yeah. I thought it was a fair question at the time. It's not fair. Your mate. choice: black tie or backless gown. I mean, it is the first night of the Bachelor. <laughs> no, Jack, just normal clothes, mate. It's a beers, burgers, blokes only Bachelor night. You're right, gonna mate. be fine. But thank you, mate. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hey, <laughs> Shady. Everyone's so nervous. Oh, mate, it's, it's the exciting. biggest night of the year. Famous Danny Drive, yo. Hey, tonight. You and I are heading to the pub. Yep. For uh, uh, beers, beer. burgers, boys, Bachelor. <laughs> Yes. Booyah. Um, the Bachelor. Blokes. Balls. Meatball. Meatballs. Meatballs. I think they're on the menu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, the Bachelor is on um, telly. Brollies. On, if, if it's raining. Bring a brolly. Yeah. Might rain. Um, 7.30 uh, and continues tomorrow night on 10. Sorry. 10. And I say that we're going straight from here to the pub, but we'll, we'll you'll duck home first, I assume. Yeah. Good, because you're wearing Ugg boots, so yeah. I mean, make an effort. I know you don't, you haven't watched the show before and this wasn't your idea, mm. but um, an effort. It would be nice if my effort scale, if the needle just even twitched. Out of slippers. As I, <laughs> as I scanned your body. It would be nice to just get some reading of effort off you. Sure, I will. I will I, you're my I, plus one. You make me look bad. Danny Green's coming. You know what you've done is you've really shone a light on an area of society that I didn't realise existed. These are That's what I'm here for. Fairly blokey blokes that have just been so into The Bachelor but not been able to find their place to watch it or talk about it. Yeah. And they've come out of the walk so much so that I started questioning myself, am I suddenly, am I in the minority? Here? Well, no, I mean, you probably are because it's tough to say. I mean, in every group, there's a guy that loves The Bachelor, mm. sometimes two or three, and they wouldn't even know to ask each other. It's like being a stonecutter.
That's why I Except thought... you would know if the other person's a stonecutter because you see him at the meetings. <laughs> okay. The, the way I thought I'd test this, just to make sure that, you know, maybe every one of my mates doing this and we haven't reached out. You might I, be the only one left out. I called my mate Pez, Ross, today, okay. and I said to him... I, just I, didn't, thought, I didn't know you were going to do Pez. So. <laughs> I, thought, I, asked, I asked Pez, or Ross is his first name, I, I just wanted to drop it into conversation to see whether he's actually into The Bachelor. Roscoe. Hey, you going, mate? Just wanting to say g'day and um, hopefully you're in for Friday. Yep, no, I'm, uh, I am help the wife um, just with the kids um, first, uh, yeah, and I'll be around there sort of, um, yeah, as the uh, as the footy starts, which will be good, won't it? Yeah, fantastic. And then I'll just, um, I suppose I'll just text you tonight during The Bachelor. Are you watching The Bachelor tonight? Um, what should, am I meant to be? Oh, I will if I'm meant to be. Oh, I just thought you, are you, do you like that one? Are you into that show? The Bachelor? Yeah. That's a weird question from you to ask me. You know, I don't even sort of watch free to air television. <laughs> it's really true. <laughs> well, is, is someone on it, are you, is someone on it that I know or? <laughs> no, no. No, I just thought you might, just want to, thought you might, I don't know, just a lot of people around here are saying that they're all, they're all watching it. A lot of blokes have been going there into The Bachelor and I didn't know about it, but so I was just checking whether. Wow. Yeah. No, I'll be boxing with Phil tonight. That's, yeah. that's what I do. Um, and, and watching some cricket. Uh, the cricket starts. Well, what are we watching? Oh. <laughs> okay. No, Weird. fair Paul. All right. No worries, mate. Good man. See you. Bye. <laughs> So a little bit of reality came back to me. He almost said, and I and I for for keen eared listeners, he almost when he said, "What is someone we know on it?" He did almost say, "What are, are you?" Yeah, he because <laughs> just similar to me. I mean, you look at you and you immediately go, "That guy should be on the Bachelor." Oh, no, he's selfishly he gone no, and got a girlfriend outside of the constructs of a television show. No, he didn't think let that. all his friends down. Well, Ando. <laughs> I knew you were going to run this little test, so I didn't know it was pears. No chance. <laughs> so you, maybe your you, you sense of normal has been restored there. But I did call one of the guys, Mark, who's mm. coming tonight. He's a friend. Um, I mean, you don't know Mark. Dan and Mark are a couple that uh, Zoe and I are friendly with. All right. But uh, he's he's he contacted me separately saying, hey, look, can I... This has been funny. People have been coming out of the woods oh, yeah. contacting yeah, you. So many and guys. I've got a couple of texts going, hey, can I come to this party? Like, hey, Mrs. Bachelor night. <laughs> not a party. Hey, beers, blokes, boys, brollies, if it rains. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd give Mark a call yeah. just to counter this, to show you, for those of us that are going, yeah. and all the blokes that secretly love The Bachelor, just what tonight means to us. Hello, Mark speaking. Mark, it's Hamish. How are you, mate? Good, how are you? You're yeah, really good. Are you pumped about tonight? Oh, I'm looking forward to it, mate. Can't believe the day's finally come. You might have started a worldwide phenomenon. It's crazy, mate. You won't believe the amount of guys we've got coming along tonight that are just so excited to talk about The Bachelor. They all appreciate it too. And a lot of them have exhibited knowledge of American seasons as well, which I'm, I'm grateful for. Yeah, that's right. That's where it all started. Isn't it? Fifteen minutes later, the excitement was palpable. Bachelor, 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 bachelor. Thirty minutes of chanting later, they were finally done. All right, thanks, mate. Looking forward to it. Sweet mate, can't wait. See you, mate. Bye bye. That can happen. You that can happen. Bachelor yeah, that can happen. Minutes. When you talk to a bloke who's into the bachelor, sometimes just a chant can break out. And there'll be a lot of them tonight, Ando. We'll see. We'll see. So get ready. We'll have the results. I mean, is there, can you say results? We'll, oh, have we'll definitely have the group's opinion on the girls we'll and know. where everyone's at. I mean, Danny Green, champion yeah. boxer, he's coming along to fire us up. So. <laughs> Save us, Andy. The Bachelor was on last night. It returns tonight, 7.30 on 10. Um, but, hey, you ran, and I went along to your blokes only beers, burgers, bachelor brollies. Didn't need them, but uh, night balls, balls, <laughs> meatballs, meatballs. Were there um, beasts? Who? Chickens, pork, ribs, <laughs> animals, different animals we ate. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, yeah, Jack, rightly so, giving us the wind along. <laughs> Don't need the menu. Bloody good night, though. <laughs> it was a and, good uh, night. And to fire everyone up, we knew that at seven thirty we had to watch the batch, mm. but. We wanted to sort of make it a bit of a sportsman's night too because part of the joy of getting a whole bunch of blokes together, I mean, we all were bound by a common secret, but, which look, is we love The Bachelor. There were some really blokey blokes in there. Yeah. Just looking around at some point, everyone had a pint of beer. Mate, the, throughout relaxed. the night, the, the, the there's fullest, a lot of flannel. Our favourite thing to do was just watch everyone. Like People going to the bar to get a refill yeah. would run back like they were at a grand final <laughs> yeah. and they didn't want to miss a second and yeah. they were annoyed they had to go not at quarter time to mm. get a beer. Mm. So the the attention was there. There was 
the intent as well to watch and enjoy The Bachelor was huge, but we knew we needed maybe a big name to fire everyone up. Yep. We chose, or I chose, Danny Green, boxing hero, yep. Danny Green, about to make his comeback fight after two years out of the ring. He's in the middle of training, yep. but what better guy to get along to a night where everyone's really focused and about to watch these girls compete for the biggest prize of their life, true love. So about 10 past seven, hey, and we'd uh, done a fair bit of mingling, yep. a fair bit of chatting. And uh, you got up to, to have to speak to the group, obviously, yeah. as the runner of the night. Yeah. And um, this is how things kicked off. Guys, no ladies and all gentlemen, welcome to the Boys Beers Bachelor's Burgers Night. Yeah! 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 You guys pumped up to watch The Bachelor? <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> Great. And also, you're in a totally safe spot, and I know we all have the same dirty secret here, so just really welcome to like a really lovely, safe environment. <laughs> Give us a shout if you haven't watched uh, at least a few other seasons of The Bachelor, uh, American or Australian. Yay! Yes! Whoa, Jeff, Jeff and I. Jeff, uh, have you watched any Bachelor? No. Yeah. Not Jeff, yet. you're going to be hanging out with Andy a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. All right, Jeff, do you know the basic uh, construct of the whole thing? Oh, I believe so. How yes. would you sum it up in a line? Uh, very lucky guy, gets to meet a lot of girls and picks one. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> whilst, whilst the rest of us just judge all the girls. <laughs> yeah. We've got a huge episode ahead of us. Look, it's almost going to start. Now, to add a little bit of a blokey element to the, to the night, some of you may have heard on the radio, would you please welcome to our, our boys' club, our secret night, the one and only Australian boxing legend, Danny the Green Machine. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dan, well, boys, how are you? Yeah, really good, mate. Thank you for coming along. My pleasure. Did you have any other Bachelor events tonight yet to cancel? <laughs> No, no, just only one, but I, you know what? I, uh, I let it slip them in training camp, so I just thought I'll put the important one first. And just, that's, what, just, that's what training camp's about, making sacrifices yeah, and then yeah. saying no to a lot of other bachelor parties. Um, yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, Danny, uh, we've walked in, you've walked into a situation where there's a lot of pints, there's heaps of fried food, there's burgers, etc. Obviously... A lot of testosterone. Yeah. 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 At the moment, that's what I'm used to. <laughs> at the moment for you, though, preparing for this fight, is this like the worst place for you to be? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, you can't, we can't have too it's many It's the worst place. It's, it's a real tease. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, it's like it's, I can smell it, I can see it, I can see the effects it's starting to have, I can see the love and the, mm. the red cheeks and the, you know, I can see all that sh- going on. I'm like, yeah. man, I want a part of that. Yeah. <laughs> and what's but even worse is my f- trainer's over there and he's not going to have a bar of it. <laughs> Good, I like that you bought, your own, you bought your own bodyguard to make sure you didn't ta- <laughs> take it off. Now listen, you're in training camp at the moment, you're completely focused on one objective. The girls tonight, when they get out of the limos, mm. They're going to be completely focused on one objective. Does it take over your life? I mean... It does. I mean, I'm competing f- against a man, not competing for a man, so yeah. it's a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Fair enough. There's going to be some hugging in your yeah. bout, no they'll, doubt. They'll be hugging. <laughs> not pleasant hugging. <laughs> uh, they'll be touching, touching like, we'll just, like, touch gloves before you start off, and, you know, we'll, we'll glove up before the fight, similar yeah. to what will happen after this is all finished. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of similarities. Yes. Danny, I mean, please stick around, um, admire all of the food that you cannot eat, and, um, <laughs> mate, good luck on the 19th. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Round of applause, guys. Have a good night, boys. Yeah. 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 It, it Again, was perfect, wasn't it? Well, the, the, the shock still, even listening back to that, the shock remains for me when I'm looking around, and all these guys doing very blokey, like a pie night at a, at a country football club Mate, thing. How many times do I have to tell but you? But we're all sitting down to watch The Bachelor, which Ex- I thought, and I assumed, and again, generalising uh, False. Is, is one of the show hates. Number one hate. <laughs> um, I thought was more reserved for females. And yeah. you just found out last night that it's not Ando. No. The blokes Australia-wide just love getting together. Yes, it's a bit of a dirty secret, but it's becoming more and more acceptable mm. in society to get together, watch The Bachelor. I think... Having a boxing legend, the caliber of Danny Green, before the show shows that Channel Seven, Channel Ten probably should put on at seven o'clock. Yeah. Just boxing highlights <laughs> yeah, to get everyone fired up, up, and then go straight into the Bachelor at seven thirty. <laughs> Look, last night I'm proud to have sat through your first ever Bachelor. Mm. The thing, that, just able to being able to say the sentence to you today to go, what girl do you fancy on the Bachelor? And you can actually have. An I, I, I've got an opinion on that. What would you say? Um, probably. 
I mean, Emily, maybe. Emily's wife material, that's yeah. a common consensus. She didn't feature heavily in episode one. That's usually the way the edit goes. You won't start, <laughs> you won't start seeing her feature heavily till about yeah. episode four or five, and yeah. then she'll firm as a favourite. But I love the fact that we can have this, this conversation, conversation yeah, Anna. And normally last night, I'm going, what the hell are you talking and about? And last night, and if you'd said Heather, I would have gone, very rookie, yeah. because that's what the producers want you to think, yeah. but I think she's, she's probably run a little hard too early yep. in the marathon. However, Ando, mm. last night as we had our beers, burgers, boys, bachelors party mm. last night, the testosterone in the room was huge. Uh, we almost just spontaneously, anyone that didn't have a beard grew one yeah. because it was just so, we were fired up. Yeah. And we, so we sat down, we watched the show, we watched it off air. And I couldn't believe how quiet everyone was again. It was like watching, a, it was actually Ex- quieter than watching a grand final. Except for when something happened, like a girl was a bit annoying or something, and then a few people would pipe up. But like, there's also like there was a bad decision on any kind of footy game. A lot of murmuring amongst the guys. Uh, we were, you know, in amongst it. And I don't want to single out people because everyone did a really good job, but part of watching The Bachelor is the snide comments you make to whoever's watching it next to you. And the guys we were watching with last night were outstanding. That's night were, comments. Were, yep. Really good. But also good, good sharp comments. Mm. But, you know, particularly the blokes we were near. Well, the things that they were yelling, I mean, obviously the, that girl who kept talking about a, a the British vet who kept talking about anal glands at the very uh, yeah. first moment she met the bachelor. And immediately everyone around us going, she's not getting the first impression, Rose. Yeah. Uh, this is, she's completely <laughs> blown this apart. Again, things I didn't know what that meant. She's just not going to get Sam's attention. She's wasted her one-on-one time with the bachelor mm. because she keeps saying anal glands, mm. which is a very jarring sentence. And I think it was fair to say that Sam Sandra was the biggest weirdo. Yeah. I mean, uh, some of it's the edit. Some of it might just be who Sandra is. Mm. But she certainly wasn't doing herself any favours. Um, hey, I was surprised. I mean, you stopped halfway through after all these girls have gone through and he's doing a bit of thinking, after the... pondering about choosing which ones. Sorry for people who watch the show. After the arrivals and during the cocktail party. Okay. <laughs> okay yeah, that bit. So once the arrivals You stopped it and you formed a kind of a footy huddle. Yeah. Where everyone still had their beers to talk about. Yeah, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in, boys. And talk about what they'd seen so far. <laughs> it was so much fun. I was flabbergasted. Look, here we are. We've, we've seen the arrivals of the girls. I want to give everyone a chance to talk. That's what tonight's about. You're all, you're with friends. You're with people that understand that you love for the Bachelor. First of all, how do we feel about the season? Like, are we happy? Yeah. Are we, Ooh, yeah. Gonna be a ripper. Solid, yeah, It's good. Yeah, really good. Uh, look, who do we like? Who do we like first up? Sarah. Sarah's Sarah. making a good impression. Mate, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. What, what, what do you like about Sarah? She's got the uh, laid-back, casual attitude that's yep. going to get her towards the end, and, and then I think, <laughs> her, I think her looks are going to carry her through till the end. Yeah, what, a dear one, like Emily in the... Yes. Emily? Yeah, yes. towards the end, Jeffy. Yeah, very happy with Emily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Yeah. Um, look, are we all in agreement that Zilda's probably the crazy one? <laughs> Sandra is Sandra's Sandra. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sandra's too over the top. Yeah, very. Um, she's the r- Lorena. Of she's the l- Yeah, I didn't think she was... <laughs> Of hey Sam, Sam, just for new people, can you not use back references? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose, guys, tonight we've got a we've got a new guy in the group. Andy, Andy, any questions, any feelings that you've got? Um, well, I was asking you a lot of questions as we went through. Um, yeah, like, to answer your question, yeah, um, he sleeps at the same house, but he's got his own quarters. <laughs> <laughs> and um, to my knowledge, Osha hasn't hooked up with any of them. <laughs> Mike, you um, you were getting into it. You applauded at one stage. Highlight, low light. Highlight was, was the anal gland. Yeah. yeah. And also the low light. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, rare. it's rare on the Venn diagram you just draw one circle. <laughs> There you go. I mean, all these guys were really into it. The hey. thing is, we could have talked for ages. Yeah. I mean, that, but we had to get back to watching the show. We could only do the huddle, like, you know, in the space it would take for an ad break and for everyone to quickly get beers and go to the toilet. And I felt a, a little out of place, so drawing upon what I knew from what huddles are normally used for, at halftime in the footy, I, I guess, just launched in to try to fire everyone up for the second half. We had to. Guys, we're heading into the second half. Let's f***ing watch it. <laughs> if you see a guy that needs an onion ring or a burger and he's... Too engrossed in what the new Lorena's doing. Mm. Help him out. Get him an onion ring or a burger. <laughs> and let's right. just get out there and enjoy it. Just let's see who gets that f***ing white rose. <laughs> <laughs> We managed to do yeah, the white rose, obviously, at that stage we didn't know who would get the white rose, the rose that now wielded a superpower. There was one more huddle at the end of the show with more of these guys locally talking about favourite bits of The Bachelor. We'll save that because we've still got Chloe Kardashian to get to this We do have to make home. way. Um, <laughs> the, uh, last night, we should point out, uh, The Bachelor was on uh, Channel 10 and you 
found uh, a small group of people, which yeah. I which turned out to be a lot larger than I thought. Huge community. Blokes that love The Bachelor. Yeah, we do. We all went to a, a pub, had some pints and burgers, and to watch The Bachelor. I was a little perplexed because I'd never seen an episode. I couldn't believe these guys were in it. And we take it seriously. I you know, took a little bit of a time out to paint the picture for everyone. This is quite incredible to see exactly how many guys are into this. Just looking around the room, I mean, there's a couple of mates that are nearing their 50s, I would say. They've probably been mates for 20-odd years, and they're sitting down enthralled by the TV. At one point when, I don't know, Emily or whoever came out, they looked at each other and, and nodded, that kind of nod of, yes, she's going to get through. And then when she made a good impression, one of them clapped, like applauded the screen. It's quite incredible. I heard one guy, again, very manly guy, I think he's a builder, turn to his friend and go, I already like this one better than Blake, who I assume is last year's Bachelor. I also heard someone whisper when they said the white rose gives you the power to call a date. One guy turned to another guy, again, like full beard, long hair, and said, that's too powerful. They are really into it. It's just not just a joke. (laughs) I'm straight after this song. It is too powerful. <laughs> she, one of the girls shouldn't have that much power. Not that early on. <laughs> hey, as we said, bachelor party last night. For people who don't know this show, there is one bachelor, 20 bachelorettes yeah. come into a mansion, and he slowly whittles it down to one that he loves. We did smell a rat last night, though, because we did think it was meant to be 20, but only 19 got out of the limo. So yeah. we doth suspect uh, casting issues. A late pullout by well, one of the bachelorettes, <laughs> perhaps finding love with the limo driver on the way there. <laughs> and he kept driving. <laughs> Um, you, uh, coordinated the night and at certain points we had one and a half time and one at the end where everyone would get together in a f- kind of footy like huddle truth huddle, and discuss how they, what they thought about the episode. The, ho- the whole point of this night was usually there's only one guy per group that likes the bachelor. So we have no one to talk to apart from our wives or mm. girlfriends or like other girls that we know. So to have a bunch of guys that could finally come together and talk openly and honesty, honestly mm. in a blokey way about The Bachelor was really a dream come true for everybody in the whole huddle. All right, boys. Uh, Bring it in. Great <laughs> Bring premiere. It in. Look, great premiere, great premiere. I think we'd all... What everyone think? Good? Yeah. 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 Great amount of hot dogs consumed. Yeah, really good work on the beers and um, food, Very good, guys. Very good. Well, obviously, we've just seen the Zilda voted out and... Um, the other one. Uh, <laughs> no one we're really... I mean, you're not expected to know names on the first episode. Yeah. Look, uh, straight off the bat, is Heather, the White Rose winner, going to no. be there at the end? No. 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 Really? No. No. Jeff, Jeff... Top, top four, mate. Yeah. Top four. Hey, uh, yeah. Jeff, who do you think? Emily. 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 With Emily. She's wife material. Yep. Still with Emily. Yeah, yep. good. Yep. Parmigiana. Parmigiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, any other girls? Anyone else jump to mind? Nina, guys are all. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask uh, Sam. I heard when it went to an ad break, and you thought it was the end of the show. Yell out, "Oh no!" <laughs> <laughs> Sam, um, you seem pretty uh, devastated. Bit was before the rose ceremony. Were you happy? Were, were you happy that it did continue, and you're happy with how it finished? Matt, I just didn't want a cliffhanger like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's fair enough. Oh, Matt, we've been waiting months just... and months. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think Sandra's carrying on a bit, though, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, uh, was she kept in by Sam the Bachelor or was she kept in by the producers? It's hard producers, to say. Producers, definitely yeah. producers. Yeah. Look, she's a good amount of um, firecracker, mm. and it'd be great to have her as part of the show, but she's certainly not going to be in the top five. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to be in hometown visits. <laughs> 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 bit of an in joke. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else we've Top missed? Ads. Anyone else we're glossing over? Um, Rochelle. Rochelle? Yeah. Rochelle's yeah. oh. week two fodder. If Very insane. Week two, week two fodder. Yeah, Dave, you, you strike me as a bit of a scholar of the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's not just because you're wearing thick glasses. No, no, no. <laughs> who do you, who do you rank as probable top four? If I'm being brutally honest, poor showing. Thus far. Yeah, right. You didn't like it. <laughs> Let him talk. Let him talk. <laughs> Everyone's got a right to talk. <laughs> now go on, guys. They'd want to show something pretty quick to match up to, you know, your Sam Frost and Lisa Hydes of last season. But, no, but, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Can I just, having not watched anything... <laughs> 
have, have you got a clouded view, David? Because you're thinking of the Sam Frost you you know learnt to know, yeah. not the first night Sam Frost. Oh, Ooh, good point, Ando. Now let's have <laughs> talk. Has he seen Lisa? Yeah, I think you, I think Andy's actually seen a bit more Bachelor than he's letting on with that comment. Oh! Oh! <laughs> let, Andy, let Andy talk. <laughs> uh, Australia are three for thirty-four. <laughs> We're back to some cricket chat. How dare you? I'm so sorry. How dare you watch the cricket during the bachelor? Same as Andy.